Life growing up, it was hard. It was nothing too easy. Living in Boston or Dorchester is a little rough neighborhood. Half of the people I grew up with, they're in trouble with the law or mixed up in some type of gang-related activity. It just, to keep yourself on a straight path, you know, that's what I really was trying to do. When my friend had got arrested, I, you know, realized that my life wasn't going too good, you know. I could be the next one. What am I doing with my life? You know, I, I figured out I had a passion of something I really like doing, art. Drove me to come to school every day on time. Drove me to do my work, get extra time if I did my work to be in the art class. It was just meant something a lot to me. Therapeutic and wise, a life inspiration, you know? My eyes opened up, you know, when I came down here. Art was a lifesaver for me. My art teaching career started on the last day that they were hiring 14 years ago at the McKinley South End Academy. And this school is like a, it's a 100% special ed school. It's one of the more difficult populations in, um, in Boston and probably in, in Massachusetts as a whole. And I had brought my portfolio and I thought I was applying to be a paraprofessional, which is like an assistant teacher. And the art teacher had just quit and I had my portfolio. And so that day I was hired as the new art teacher. It wasn't something that I had planned, it just kind of fell in my lap. And now 14 years later, here I am uh, and can't, can't, couldn't imagine really being in it myself. Mr. Harvin, he plays as like a good mentor, like as a, a figure I look up to, you know, as in like he showed me ways I could make money the right way doing art. He showed me that I could have a career with my life. He had potential in me that other people didn't, you know, and he actually believed that if I kept coming down here, he seen um, progress out of me and what I was doing. Lewis was young when he first came into this class, and I think was maybe on a different path than he's on now, and so it was, um, it was about getting him in here and believing that like this was something that he could enjoy, and then like the art actually started. And so now, I'm, like, it's amazing what the work that he's putting out. He helped me build my skills up as like a, being a man, as like a, carrying responsibilities responsibilities, and um, understanding the world. How I got involved with the Life Water Project, it was Mr. Harvin, uh, he had came down to me and he had told me he um, had a friend, one of his friends, and they was talking about me, I was showing my art, and he gave a little background about me. His friend has felt that it was a good story, you know, it was good inspiration to others, I guess, in the world. So he uh, submitted some of my art pieces and uh, they got back to him. It was surprising because I never think that they'll actually get back to him, you know. That was just like, you know, a chance that I'll never have or opportunity. But eventually, my eyes opened up. I was like, he told me, yeah, they actually like your art. They want to put it on the ball. I was like, what? It just warmed my heart, you know. <laughs> this process started well over a year ago of us submitting work, submitting the story, submitting different work. It might be happening, it might not be happening. And so by the time it actually happened, it was still like, is this happening? So it wasn't really until Lifewater showed up with uh, like their cameras to shoot the, the, the short film for Lewis and brought the bottle that you were like, oh, like this is real. Uh, and then at that point, it was like, this is also amazing. The art I had painted on that bottle, it means daydream is what I do most of the time, you know. I daydream about creating pieces and most of the time I'm just dreaming about, you know, art. It's just like creativity that pops up in my mind. It definitely makes you want to look at the bottle. You have to look at it, you have to read it, so it catches the people's eyes. And it's, that's what I want people to, you know, look at me and catch their eyes, you know. It's, that bottle, it's like, it's me. Through this life water experience, and even before that, we were spending a lot of time together. I mean, Lewis had kind of finagled his way into multiple extra hours of art a week. But now with this life water, I mean, there's been an addition of like these film shoots, and then also, I mean, we went to LA together, we're going to New York together. I gained from the experience the opportunity to travel the world, you know, get to see new things in life. You know, it's a big step in my life. Art has helped my community as in like, 
I'm an inspiration to them because they see as like I was a kid that really wasn't successful, you know, really wasn't on the right narrow path. But for him to get his act together, you know, go to school, have a you know, an art class, have people in here that support you. It was just a good thing that you, I think all types of kids need. So I try to tell people the story about it. Yeah, I'm the artist who did this. They don't believe me. <laughs> I got to pull out my ID and show them that that's my name right there.